Let's start assembling our hat. Start with these two pieces marked B and C on the pattern. Start by attaching piece C on top of the B piece using the inner stitching line. This stitching is called saddle stitch. For this build I use 5 ounces vegetable tan, 1 mm thread and I made 1.5 mm round holes. The middle of these pieces will be marked on the pattern so you know exactly where to start stitching so they're all perfectly aligned. First stitching is done, so leave this piece on the side for now and let's move on to piece D. Next we need to connect the ends of this piece, the piece D marked on your pattern, in order to form the crown. We will use a technique called cross stitching. Be aware this stitching only works properly on leather heavier than 4.5 ounces. Please watch my fingers closely if you're not familiar with this type of stitching. And remember, the secret is to tighten the thread evenly from start to finish. We now have the top and the bottom of the crown. Let's attach them together. Once again, please make sure you connect them at the markings shown on the pattern. I marked my starting point beforehand. You can also do so with a needle when punching the holes.
Once again, the saddle stitching uh, technique was used here. After you finish connecting the top to the bottom of the crown, we can now move on to the brim. We will insert a 2mm wire into the brim. It can be aluminium or steel, as they are easy to find at any hardware store. The reason for the metal wire is that the brim cannot support its own weight, and it will collapse around your head. This is not an optional step, you will need to insert the wire inside the brim. First, gently shape the edge of the A piece like I do next. Start by connecting the two stitching lines as shown here. Use again the saddle stitching technique. After you've completed 6 or 7 stitches, you can now insert the wire and continue stitching all the way around. Look at that brim tight as a drum. You will appreciate the wire enforcing in the brim now. Not to mention you can shape it as you wish and you are sure it will hold its shape. Time for the last stitch. One more time, use the markings on the pattern to make sure you start your stitching from the middle. Note that the brim will get stitched on top of the crown.
If you want to attach a belt to the hat, there will be patterns for it included. Furthermore, if you want to attach small vials or bullets on the belt, there will also be a smaller strip that will accommodate cylinders up to 13 mm in diameter. The pattern includes 12 slots, but it is easy to add or take out as many as you need. I used a 5 mm rapid rivets to attach the small strip holding the vials and I used 7 mm rivets for the buckles and the strap. Attach the strap and you are all done.